Welcome to Platinum Skincare Medi Spa. Today we're going to demonstrate how to do a Jesner's peel. This is a medium depth peel that is good for those with very problematic acne, a lot of cystic buildup, and very clogged pores. Follow me and we'll get it started. Okay, so we're going to begin our Jesner's peel. First, we're going to cleanse their skin with a nice deep cleanser. Okay, now that the client's skin has been cleansed, we're going to apply our Prep B solution, which has a slight numbing sensation. This is to defat the skin. Sometimes clients may feel a slight stinging sensation with this because of the high alcohol. We're going to allow that to air dry for just a moment and then we'll apply our Jesner's peel. Pour a small amount of solution into a cup. Go ahead and take your gauze pad and you can fold it in half, saturate one end of it. Make sure it's not dripping and apply it evenly, one layer to the client's face. They may feel some stinging at this point. That's perfectly normal. Let us know if it's too intense. How is it feeling? Um, it's feeling great. No killing. Perfect. We'll see how she feels at two layers. She might be able to do three. We'll see. If we get some frosting, we'll stop. Technically speaking, you would continue layering the peel until you reach a frosted appearance or have a erythema, which is a red appearance. We're going to go according to the client today, and we also want to be careful because she has darker skin. We're going to aim for two layers right now. We'll see how she feels after that second layer. I'm timing it at two minutes, and we can start the fan if she feels she needs cooling.
We can apply another layer right now. It's, it's a one to two minute, about one and a half minutes now. Yep, re-dip and go ahead and apply another even coating. Let me know if you feel any stinging. not a bad thing. That's a very helpful thing. Here at Platinum Medi Spa, we're always documenting how many layers, how the client's skin is reacting, how they feel, and we're also documenting what we're going to be doing the next time they come in. Right now, we're only gonna do two layers. I am seeing a frosting on her, which is good. She's gonna be getting some peeling. And actually, at the frosting point, you can end the peel. So we're gonna go ahead and let this finish. I have it slated for another 44 seconds. And we're gonna allow her to leave with the solution on her face as long as she feels comfortable. If for any reason she felt uncomfortable, we could certainly rinse it off. Um, I think, are you feeling okay? It still feels fine? It's really great. It just feels like a cool, tingly. Okay, perfect. And, we're gonna, and we are going to leave it at that point. We're not going to apply anything else on top of that. We want to make sure not to put any occlusive ointments. That means something like Vaseline, Bacitracin, anything that's not going to allow your skin to breathe. So you're not going to apply anything else on your skin for the next eh, three hours. Um, and then you can go ahead and wash with a gentle cleanser. And you'll be good to go. You'll get some nice peeling. I think it'll be a little quicker than 10 days this time, probably because we have frosting, maybe five days, four or five days. And then we're gonna give you some emo oil. You can apply that. It's antibacterial, so it's great if you have acne prone skin. It's antibacterial, it's healing. And our timer's done, so we're actually going to end our peel at this point. Technically, you can go up to five layers if you need to, to get a nice frosting on the skin or a bright pink, but we're doing good right now. So this is gonna conclude our Chesner's Peel. If you want, you can apply a little bit more to the areas that are not white, just a real light, and then she might be able to get a little bit on there but not where the areas are frosted. And we'll let that dry. An important thing after you've done a Jesner's peel, because there is salicylic in it, we wanna make sure that you drink plenty of water, even if you're not a water drinker. And make sure to use a good sunblock, like at least the SPF 30 every day. She's sleeping because it's not irritating to her. <laughs> but it's working. We can see it's working. She's going to be happy. That's great. That will end our Jesner Peel application for today. It feels like ice is on my face. It's so relaxing. Put you to sleep. <laughs> so she's got the numbing sensation going on a little bit, and that's good. Wonderful.